Well, the man who took that iconic Earthrise photo from the first ever manned spacecraft to orbit the moon has died. Astronaut Bill Anders, who was 90 years old, was a pioneer in the early days of space exploration. His son, Greg, confirmed that his father's plane crashed into the waters of the San Juan Islands today. Now, we want to warn you, some of the cell phone video that we're going to be showing you may be disturbing. Oh, my God, look at that picture over there. A retired U.S. Air Force Major General wow, and astronaut. Is that a color film, Jim? From all the way to the moon to study the moon, and what we discovered was the Earth. Bill Anders lived a lifetime by the time he was 40, long before he settled in Anacortes. These are not just American heroes. Now space is becoming somewhat routine, and I think we've got a lot of people who are younger, maybe, and some others who just have kind of forgotten the role that people like Bill Anders played. Aviation analyst John Nance had dinner with Anders a few years back. He was among the many saddened by Anders' death. He was flying a post-World War II training plane over the San Juans when he crashed. It's like something right out of a movie or special effects with a large explosion and flames and everything. Anders' body was recovered near Jones Island. In a statement, the Anders family said the family is devastated. He was a great pilot. He will be missed. In looking at that video, uh, I don't think he had any control on the way down. He was the type of guy who knew everything you need to know to be able to fly an airplane like that and, and get out of problems with it. Uh, but this type of airplane doesn't present you with many. So it's, it's a shame that we will never know for sure what happened. Nance said that type of plane does not have a voice recorder. 54 years ago, Nance watched with the rest of the country as Anders and two others became the first men to orbit the moon on a Apollo 8. Anders snapped the iconic Earthrise photo. Thank you, Apollo 8. Two years ago, he told King 5 that kickstarted the environmental movement. He also vowed to keep living his way. Uh, I'll keep flying as long as I can crawl in the airplane. Well, that was King 5's Jim Nelson reporting. The NTSB is investigating the crash. NASA's administrator said that Anders embodied the lessons and the purpose of exploration.